Foxy Proxy is easy to install in Firefox because of its support and the Firefox add-ons. So you can go to Firefox add-ons by going to addons.mozilla.org. Inside, search for Foxy Proxy. And you'll find that there's Foxy Proxy standard and basic. It's best to choose basic unless you need the other options. You click on the add to Firefox and then click on add to give it permission to add to Firefox. I have it installed in Firefox and it shows here on the right hand side by default it's going to be disabled. So I've set up a local proxy, in this case the OWASP Z attack proxy, and I'm going to configure Foxy proxy to let me switch between no proxy and using this proxy quickly. So I'm going to click on Foxy proxy and I'm going to click on options. I'm going to add a new proxy. It's going to be HTTP and I'm going to give it a name. Now in my case, I happen to know that this proxy is listening on port 8080. To confirm that, in this tool, I go to Options and Local Proxies. It's listing on localhost port 8080. So whatever proxy you're going to set up, you just need to know the address, especially if it's going to be on your corporate network, on the internet, or some other location that's not near you. And then you'll need to know the port. If you have an authenticated proxy, you can put a username and a password in here. I'm going to hit save, and now I have a new entry for the OWASP zap. Close the page. Now to proxy, I'll click on the Foxy proxy symbol, and then choose the proxy I want to use. In this case, the OWASP zap. And what you'll notice is, so there'll be a little checkbox here if you check on it again. And now I'm going to refresh the page. Now instead of just going straight to the site, Firefox is going to send the information through the tool in the background. And I see that the information in this case, for this proxy, because I have control of it, I actually see the request flowing through it. Of course, if you're using Foxy Proxy to connect to a corporate proxy or some kind of online proxy, you're not really going to see the connection being made on the proxy side, but you'll notice that the connection goes through that proxy.